Well, hello out there in YouTube land. I got something here for you. Well, wait a minute. No, you can't have it. It's mine. You're not getting it. Unless you buy one. <laughs> but not for me. <laughs> not anywhere I can link to. Anyway, I've had this for a while. Been testing it out around here because of COVID, not going no place. So I'll let you know what I think about it and what it is. Stick around, we'll find out. This is Surviving 2 coming to you with another video. Thanks for sticking around, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll show y'all what this is. Really don't know what to call it in a way. Eh, it's a chair, but is it a folding chair? Is it a collapsible chair? I don't know. Maybe you guys can enlighten me. It comes in this nice little case. It's got Little grab handles on both sides. It's a uh, ripstop nylon with piping around it. It's got one zipper on it. I don't know if it's YKK or not, I doubt it. But uh, then on the back side here, it's got a bunch of loops up and down through here that are sewn, and you can put some stuff in there, attach some things to it, whatever you want to do. You could detach it to your pack by the grab handles and also store the bag and I'll show you that here in a minute before we get going or when we get going this is the seat part right there and then here is the main frame this is the chair itself now some of y'all might have seen these before they're also put out by one tigress and I think under some other names but this is the one I got sport near so the inside of the bag pretty much standard nothing nothing special there so now there's something I did to this to make this thing it was really unwieldy when I went to try and deal with it arms were flying out just going everywhere I took a velcro uh, kind of a tie down thing for extension cords, something like that, and put around it to help hold it in place while I'm having to deal with it. Also, when I'm trying to put it back in here, it can get really unwieldy, really wild, so. Now, see, as you can see, once I release that, it starts jumping everywhere. What I was using before, is a little tripod if you look back in my videos that are my camping videos you'll see the little tripod nothing wrong with it really i just yeah there is something wrong with it when you go to sit on it for long periods of time it's not comfortable let me put it that way i've used it for years now and killed one bought another one and i've got this one now, anytime I go to a long line, I would take that little thing with me, unfold it, and sit down on it, and wait till the line move, then grab everything and move it over. It's real easy, it's real lightweight and everything. And it's just been really handy to use for a lot of stuff. So anyway, we're not here about that, we're here about this. Let me take this and start kind of putting it together and I'll show you what we got. So we're gonna go over here. Uh, as long as I don't lose this thing. All right, now you might not be able to see my head, but my head is not what you're interested in. It's got a bungee cord inside of it, so everything just kind of springs into place. And as you can see, 
it kind of spins here. Well, the legs, they've got three positions on it. Right now, when it's all folded up, it's in the lowest position. So let me get it adjusted for sitting. That way it puts it me puts me at a good height. Other people might want it lower, might want it higher, don't know. Well, you can't go any higher than what I'm gonna set it. Like I say, there's only three positions on it. But there, that's the frame. See if it get out, yeah. It's easy for me to say it's early in my tongue, I just washed it and can't do a thing with it. I'm gonna get it back here where you guys can see what's going on. Let me grab the case. Now the case can also become a little dump pouch. You can put stuff into here, zip it open, zip it closed. It just goes on here and sits right down there like that. So you got an easy place to put this. Now here is the backing to it and I always remember how to put this thing on by the nylon mesh right here it goes to your top to your back and these corners are stiffeners there's stiffeners in there and it's really well sewn and this back portion that goes over these ends it's kind of like a I don't know what it is it's a nylon it's a waterproof back piece of nylon or something in there with piping on it so it's real sturdy so i put it on here first get it locked into there if i can see what i'm doing and then put it down here there we go now this one is always tough this is the last one was pulling everything tight and there it is. Now, <clears throat> it's pretty nice. It's got the nylon mesh on the sides. Like I said, the nylon mesh on the back. So your back stays pretty cool. It's pretty sturdy. It's rated for 350 pounds. It's got a bag here on this side. You can put your cell phone in it, keys, whatever, odd and end stuff in this one. And this one over here, is the size of like a 12 ounce can or a 16 ounce bottle, something along that lines. It's uh, kind of stitched where it's rounded. I don't think it would fit a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle, but never tried that. But that's how that is. And let me sit down in it and show you what's up. Pretty nice, really. I mean, it's it's pretty sturdy it's held me with no problems at all and i'm i'm not a small person <laughs> i'm six foot one and right around 250 pounds but it holds me up real good i can lean back and relax a little bit now there's nothing for my head but hey at the angle that it's sitting at this is not bad it's not a real strain on my neck, so I can sit up pretty good. And it does tend to rock a little bit, but I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend that a whole heck of a lot. So other than that, that's pretty, yeah, it's pretty nice. I can, I can sit around and do what I need to do, and I'm at a good height where my legs, my knees aren't way up here around my ears. They're down fairly low, it's fairly decent. I kick out and take and cross my legs pretty easily and lean back and I'm fairly comfortable like this. So that's not bad, I like it. It's gonna be one of my go-to chairs naturally for camping from now on. Even though it's a little bigger than the tripod, it's more comfortable. And I can always find a way of tying it onto the outside of the a pack or something along that line. So, but that's it. And to get out of it, I just take my hands, these two front beams that are sticking out holding the chair. I put my hands there and just push myself up and out. 
and that's how it is so let me break it down and I'll show you how quick it kind of goes back together now, like I say until I get that strap around it it gets a little unwieldy I take and fold it in kind of like let's fold it this way that way the pouches are on the inside yeah, if I can get it to cooperate, that one in there, that one in there, that's over, that's over. And then I just kind of fold it in half, something like that, and then, then it'll eventually stuff back into the bag. Pull the bag off, throw it over there. Go ahead, these are, these two long ones are the worst ones about wanting to fly off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these down. Come on. You almost gotta, the short ones, you gotta pull them out a little bit in order to be able to have something to hang on to and work with. That's kind of a con, but it's not a bad one. <laughs> you just gotta remember to do it. Okay, where are you? Lose the little thing in there in these. I just take it and lay it up like that. Oh, these over. That one, that one, and that one, and that one. Then comes the unruly part. These two. I can get that. Whoop, there went one. <laughs> so I say, this thing can get a little much. There's that. Okay, now I take my strap, slide it off down here. I got a helper. I don't know if he's on camera or not, but he's down there trying to help. Yeah, there went one jumping out before I could get it tied down. Like I say, that's the only bad, that's another con about this thing, it, that it's unwieldy there. At least I got the strap around it. That's the main thing. All right, so we'll go back over here to the table, finish packing this thing up, and I'll show you what's happening there. See if we can get this beast back in here. What I generally do is take and stuff one end of it in first and get it into there and kind of get it situated pretty good. Then the other end will kind of sit in there a little better and do like that. Now the, the backing, what I do is I'll take and shove it down into this side of the bag first and then stuff the rest of it in. So that way it's got a little room to work. And turn that around where you can see. Make sure where's the oh there's a there's the bag. Gotta kinda hold everything together to get it started. Once you get it started and get it going, you just gotta stuff everything in there and finish zippering it up. And there it is. It's all back together. Like I say, I like it. <laughs> For the price that it was, which I don't remember what it was off the top of my head, I'll probably put it here somewhere. And I'll also let you know where I picked it up from, which y'all probably already know, most of everything I buy is Amazon, so. <laughs> it's either that or eBay. It's, I think it's the same two places everybody else buys from, so. Anyway, that's it. Sport near folding chair, collapsible chair. <laughs> like I say, I don't know, you guys tell me. So, <laughs> there it is. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. And I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, y'all take care out there. Stay safe.
and later. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.